Welcome to another mini video from 2dgamerguru.com. Today I'm working in Inkscape to show you how to create a simple and flexible little stick man. I'll be using basic shapes, the pen tool, the no tool and power strokes. Let's start with a circle. The circle will form the head. Hold control while creating the circle to keep the proportions even. Inkscape will inherit the last color you used. So I'm going back to the fill colors and choose a plain white for the stick man and then start with the body which will be a rectangle. The rectangle offers me three nodes, two for scaling and one to adjust the corners. Using the node tool I can round the corners. When I scale this one the corners will scale with it if I have toggled that option. You can do that in the top menu and the corners will scale with the shape. For the limbs I'm creating a straight line using the pen tool and holding control allows me to get a straight line. I increase the widths and change the caps to rounded. Before going in with the note tool and adding two extra notes where the shoulders would be. I duplicate the line and use it for my legs. The advantage is I just have one or two nodes to deal with rather than more complex shapes. This makes it a lot easier to put the stickman in different poses. I convert the body to a pass and adjust the waistline by adding two nodes and smoothing those. Adjust the position of the head and the thickness of my limbs a little bit. They could be a little thicker and the legs need to be adjusted accordingly. It could also be a little longer. It's a simple way to create a template for a stickman. I can now go in and adjust the pose. I have all the bits and pieces for it. To make it a running stickman, I just need to move a few nodes and change the curves a little bit. And the stickman goes from standing still and waving to running in no time. Let's duplicate the shapes and make him walk. Walking is a lot like running. The limbs are less curved. The next step if you want to play with lines for the limbs is to add a power stroke to it. It allows you to make the motion more dynamic and exaggerate certain body parts. The pass effect allows you to control the thickness of the stroke at the point of those pink nodes. I use the node tool to adjust them. I can still curve and manipulate my stroke, but the thickness is now determined by the distance of those nodes from the center of my line. You can easily add more control nodes by clicking on one of the nodes and holding control. It adds an additional node that you can then move along the length of the stroke. I add the effects to both the arms and the legs, adjusting the legs to be thinner towards the hips and wider at the feet. If you want to learn more about power strokes, I would suggest watching the earlier video I recorded on it. I adjust my figure a little more. I'm not quite sure I like the thick shoulders of this one. Let's move those nodes in and make the shoulders slimmer. The big advantage is you can convert everything to a pass and adjust it. So the pointy ends of my hands rather than try and figure out the perfect position, I just convert everything to a pass and adjust the ends to fit. I can also add parts to it. Let's add some circles to the hands to make thumbs. I select the two thumbs and my arms and use the Boolean union. 
Just remember that this is the last step when you have your pose set. Now it's a lot harder to make changes with all those nodes defining the arms. Keep the lines while you're setting the pose. They are a lot easier to manipulate than a whole lot of nodes defining the outline of the limbs. Play around with it, stretch, exaggerate, go crazy with the power stroke, it's a lot of fun. To use basic shapes, the pen tool, the node tool and power strokes to create simple stickmen. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel, click on the notification icon, leave a like and let me know what you want to see on my channel and I will see you again soon.